Hello, it's Annette, and welcome to the second part of my insanely awesome book haul from London and Miami. So this part is gonna be mostly YA, but there are a couple of others as well. And um, um, I've been a bit sick this week, I would have filmed this earlier, but uh, I managed to get this summer virus that has been going around. And I blame the weather, which has been absolutely disgusting. Um, I will insert a clip from yesterday here. Pull yourself together, Finnish weather. Seriously, it's supposed to be end of June soon. And I want some sun. Uh, there are quite a few books, even though I already showed you like half of the books I bought. So let's get straight into it. First I have here Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider. I've heard good things about this. I don't think it's anything new. Uh, I think they're sick teenagers and maybe they fall in love with each other or something. Um, but I think the sickness was tuberculosis. I'm not sure. But yeah. But yeah. Life goes on until it doesn't. Next up I bought The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. And I really love this UK cover as well, even though the um, US one is quite nice as well. And I think this one has been said to be similar to The Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Uh, I think there's some sort of creatures with feathers for hair and magic and that sort of stuff. And I really like The Daughter of Smoke and Bone, so hopefully I'll enjoy this one as well. Uh, then I bought The Game of Love and Death by Martha Brockenbro. And this is like historical fiction that it's set like early 1900s. And uh, basically it is what the title says. So there's um, a game between love and death. And it says um, death has never lost and love will do anything to win. And then they choose players on earth. And um, then we'll see which side wins, I think. So then... Uh, I forgot to show you this in my in the last part actually because I bought this already in Finland before going to London but I bought The Winner's Crime by Marie Rutkowski and then from London I bought uh, The Winner's Crime by Marie Rutkowski and these two books I've been interested to read for a while now I've heard great things about this and I quite enjoyed the first one I gave it like 4, 4.5 stars and um, it's very different to the usual YA novels because at least the first book uh, concentrates a lot more on the political intrigue and plotting than the romance, I think. So the covers are gorgeous. Uh, I was considering buying the US hardcovers because of the blue dress. But then I saw the third book for the UK covers, which is the Emerald Green Dress and decided to get this instead so but yeah i look forward to reading the second book soon and the third one is coming out i think early next year so then i also got um good omens by terry pratchett and neil gaiman uh, neil gaiman is one of my favorite authors and i've been meaning to read something from terry pratchett for a longer time now um, I think this book is supposed to be some sort of satire and um, the back of the book already made me laugh with it wasn't a dark and stormy night it should have been but that's the weather for you and uh, yeah hopefully I'll enjoy this then from Heathrow Airport I still grabbed um, The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins uh, mainly because I'm just curious to read this for myself because it's been going around booktube like so much this spring. Um, this is not my typical genre but we'll see if I like it. Um, if you don't already know there's a girl on the train and um, she likes to imagine these lies for these people she sees every day on, on her commute or something. And then, then something happens and the story kind of kind of starts to unravel so also I got um, a guitar so there is a chord of thorns and roses 
and I noticed only when I got back to the hotel room that it is signed. Yes. And another very hyped up book um, which I'm interested to read. This is um, Beauty and the Beast Retelling with Fairies and I think this is more on the new adult side of things which I'm personally fine with because I get frustrated with the YA uh, novels sometimes when um, I can see the chemistry between the characters and I can see this sexual tension and it doesn't go anywhere. Not that it should, probably. I mean, the characters in YA novels are quite young, but um, yeah, new adult. I'm interested in this one. Another new adult book I bought, uh, you've already seen on this channel, and that is Black Iris by Leah Reader. Currently reading it. Um, and I think this is supposed to have some suspense mystery storyline with some LGBT elements in it. So that's interesting. And Goodreads has some really amazing reviews for this one, so I decided to pick it up. Another book you've already seen uh, in my Rainbow Readathon TBR is the Sydney's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury and this one is supposed to be kind of like Shatter Me type-esque book with um, the main character with a lethal touch or fatal touch and it's more on the fantasy side Shatter Me is dystopian so still interested to read this because um, Shatter Me is definitely one of my favorite series so yeah picked it up and I really like the cover. The next book I've seen loads in Instagram but I haven't seen it much in booktube and I'm kind of hoping to read it before the hype gets the better of it. And um, the book I'm talking about is Uprooted by Naomi Novik and I've heard some really good things about this one as well. Everyone who's read it has said it's really good. And I think this is kind of like a fairy tale type of thing where there's a wizard protecting this village from the woods and for his services he takes a girl from the village every 10 years or so. So yeah, that's all I know about it. And another gorgeous cover. I really love this. I haven't seen what it's like under the dust jacket. I think it's like this kind of... Um, light pale green and the inside of the book is quite nice as well with the purple and papers so yeah heard really good things about this and i want to read it before everyone else gets to it in booktube because i've seen it going around loads in instagram like i said so and the final book i bought from london for myself is the mime order by Samantha Shannon. I read The Bone Season a while ago and I quite enjoyed it. I thought the storyline was quite unique in a way, even though it was a um, dystopian society. There is um, a divide in the society between uh, clairvoyants and non-seers and the clairvoyants are kind of being hunted down for being evil or un unnatural, I suppose. And the covers for these books are absolutely gorgeous. The first book already was like really pretty. And it continues to the inside flap. And also without the flap. So yeah, I picked up the second um, book in the series and I'll be reading this soon even though the book is huge. Now onto the books that my parents brought me back from Miami. Um, I was hoping they would bring me back like one or two of the books I was hoping to get as hardcover in the US hardcovers but <clears throat> but they brought me back several of the books basically all the books that they could find from the bookshop that were on my wish list that I sent them so that's awesome the first book they got me was um, Rogue by Julie Kagawa, which is the second book in the Talon series. 
I have the first one. I really love the design of these books as well. The um, dust jacket has a kind of texture on them and then it's really nice on the inside as well. There's dragons, dragons everywhere. And that's pretty much all I know about the books is that there's dragons that are kind of um, I think hiding as humans or in human form or something like that. But yeah, the second book they got me, uh, you've probably seen around in booktube already. If you haven't, you probably haven't been in booktube much lately. But that is um, An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. And I really wanted to get the US cover for this book. Because it's really nice. And I think this one is supposed to be based on the ancient Rome type of society. There is a slave and a soldier and neither is free and I suppose they start a revolution or something. Then they got me Magonia by Maria Davana Heatley. Another absolutely gorgeous cover. I really wanted to get this as hardcover. And again, I think some sort of Daughter of Smoke and Bone type of vibes. And also, um, and also The Fault in Our Stars. Um, basically, there is a girl who's, who has some like breathing problems when she's on Earth. And then she finds out that there's a whole different world up in the sky. Where she's healthy and strong and doesn't have any breathing difficulties but at the same time these this alternative world wants to wage a war against the earth and obviously she has a family and probably some boy on the earth as well she loves and then she has to decide which side to choose so very short book actually but i think it's gonna be a series and hopefully the next covers are gonna be as pretty as this one because mm, I could just marry this cover. Yes. They got me Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. Sewell? Sewell? I don't know how to say that surname. Uh, this is not the cover I was I was hoping to get, but this is what Barnes and Noble had sold them. I was actually hoping to get the um leatherbound children's classic one, but if I end up liking this, then I can always get the nicer edition. Some sort of children's classic about a horse. I don't think I've ever read this before. Then they also got me Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins. And this is the second book in the Rebel Bell series. Um, I read Rebel Bell last summer and I quite enjoyed it. It was funny and yeah. If you don't already know, Rebel Bell is this kind of typical popular girl in high school. And then she suddenly gets these special powers and has to protect this guy that she hates. Um, I've heard some mixed reviews about this one, but um, I'm still looking forward to continuing with the series. So, And then I also got... Um, a Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. In this, um, in this uh, gorgeous Buffin in Bloom collection edition. Uh, again, uh, I was kind of <laughs> expecting to get the leather bound edition of this book in the children's classics, but I'll take this one. I really like these editions. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, another children's classic. Um, I don't think I've read this one either, so we'll be diving into this soon, hopefully. And then my parents also got me The Rat and the Dawn by René Adier. Um, this is another book that I'm really excited to read. I'm already reading it, actually, and really enjoying it. And um, this, uh, if you don't know, is a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights. And it's really good so far. There's this caliph, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but let's go with that. Um, 
and every day he has to take a new wife and kill her at dawn. But what he doesn't know is that this current wife, who has volunteered to be his wife, um, is there to revenge her best friend's death at his hands. And the last book my mom bought from Miami was kind of an um, impulse purchase on her part. Um, this was a bargain priced book and I don't know anything about this one. This is A Hundred Summers by Beatrice Williams. Looks very summery and I think this, this book is set in the 1930s, almost 1940s. And I don't know anything about this. They got me a membership to heaven. Oh yeah. 10% of every purchase and 40 of hardcover bestsellers. I'll definitely be using this. And then I went to my local bookstore the other day because they have sales going on at the moment and I haven't seen this book in the bookshop ever before and now it was in the sale box so of course I grabbed it <laughs> and that book is Lips Touch by Lainey Taylor I've been wanting this for longest time and now I got it for 15 euros yay it's hardcover as well short stories by Lainey Taylor what's not to like and um, let me see and And it has these gorgeous illustrations as well by uh, Jim DiBartolo, which I think is her husband, so yay! And then the other day I also went to the flea market and I got Nancy Drew book. Uh, this one, the original title is uh, The Clue of the Tapping Heels. And I've just been collecting these books because they're part of my childhood, basically. I was reading them when I was probably like 10 or so. And um, the finished editions are all like this, but in different colors. So that's nice. They match. Just hoping to collect, collect these all. And that's about it. I was reading these when I was 10 years old. And this sized book was huge when I was that age but now I was looking this yesterday and it's only like 148 pages <laughs> I could read this in like a day less than a day um, nowadays <laughs> but it's weird how um, all those years ago this seemed so long and this only cost one euro fifty cents at the flea market so so those are all the books in the second part of this insane book haul. I'm not even sure if I can lift these all up, but we'll see, we'll see. Oh my god, this might end up badly. Here's the second part of the haul. Oh my god, that's heavy. Putting them down now before I drop them. Gently. Oh, that was a workout. Have to catch my breath now. So those are all the books I bought and received. And uh, I'll show you all the bookmarks and the bags. Because Barnes and Noble, well done for the bags. Seriously. So there's a. Uh, uh, a little bit of uh, Romeo and Juliet on the other side of the bag and on the other side there's a uh, some um, passage of the Wizard of Oz so that's a nice bag as well and also I'll show you what a proper sized um, book shopping bag looks like I'll have to get out for this one because it's so big can you see it? Can you see it? Well done Barnes & Noble. This, this is what I'm talking about when I go book shopping. Right? It's huge! 
I also got some bookmarks. I got these Northern Line uh, magnetic bookmarks, which have like some of the stations from the tube on them. On them. Uh, I got uh, this wind scarab from the British Museum, and I got this mummy from the British Museum as well. Uh, well, I got this Sagro Bacchus. Henut Mehut, Henut Mehut. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> From the British Museum. I'm very excited to read all my new books though. And let me know which book I should read first. And if you have read any of the books and what did, what did you think. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video.